Look at our awesome new house, Milo. It's so amazing! Oh, yeah. It's got four walls and it's totally made out of wood. And it even has a door! That's right. And we can even go inside and show the interior. Wow, the color palette is so lovely! It's made out of really cheap blocks, so we can rebuild it if it breaks. Bought it from Ikea, remember? Yeah, totally. And it even has a mystery button on the floor that doesn't do anything at the moment. Whoa. That's right, Milo. I love buttons! Yeah, I know. We're going to make that button do something really interesting, but I don't know what. There's nothing to defend our house from. Yeah, it's such a peaceful, beautiful world. Yep, you're totally right, Milo. Oh, wait a second. Chip, look behind you. What is it, Milo? I'm kind of scared. It's something really bad. Okay, I'm going to look around in three, two, one. Whoa, what is that? It's a cave. Let's get a closer look. Milo, inside the cave is a bunch of zombies. The real estate agent didn't tell us this was here when they sold us the property. That's right, Milo. What is a cave full of zombies doing here? That's really dangerous. But they're not going to come attack us. Maybe it's because the grass is green. Oh, yeah, and they don't want to touch something that's green. Yeah, that's definitely why. No, Milo, it's not because of that. It's because the sun is still up, and zombies cannot go in sunlight. Oh, yeah, I forgot. But, Milo, the sun is going down, and that means that at nighttime, the zombies will totally attack us. Oh, my gosh, that is so scary. I really don't want to get attacked. No, me neither. We need to build defenses around our house and make it the ultimate secure base to try and survive the zombie hordes. Let's do it. We're going to be so protected after we protect our Oh, yeah, absolutely. First, let's build a lava moat around our house so the zombies can't get in. Chip, I don't think that's such a good idea. Really? Why? Because I'm definitely going to fall in and hurt myself. Yeah, you're right, Milo. I'm sure we'll think of something. But what if when the zombies fall into the lava, they explode and hurt me? Milo, they're not going to hurt you. First of all, zombies don't explode. And even if they did, we would be safe inside our new secure house. Wait a second. I think I just got zombies confused with creepers. Oh, that's why you thought they explode. Yeah, they're both green, so I guess it makes sense. Chip, do you like my mark? Let me take a look. Oh, uh, Milo, it's kind of wonky. No, it's not. I've been going in a straight line. Milo, this doesn't look like a straight line to me. See, my side is perfectly straight, and yours is kind of like a string. Your side looks boring. My side looks awesome. Uh, sure, Milo. I'm almost round the back, Milo. How are you going? I'm going to beat you. No way. I'm going to do so much more than you are. No, I'm the best moat builder in the world. Absolutely not. See, mine went way quicker than yours did. Well, mine definitely looks better. Uh, sure, Milo. Totally. It looks like it was drawn by a two-year-old. Well, I'm just a little bit older than a two-year-old anyway. Yeah, I guess you're right. And now comes the best part. Filling the moat with lava. Yes, this is so great. I'm going to be so careful so I don't fall in. Because if I fall in, you've got no chance against these zombies. Yeah, you're kind of right, Milo. I cannot do this alone. Wow, I can really feel the heat coming off of this lava. There's no way the zombies survive this. I think Zombies are very scared of hot things like the sun and me. Yeah, totally, Milo. You're about as hot as a chicken nugget. Hey, that's so rude. Okay, we're done with the lava moat. How's your side looking? Um, Milo, you missed like five spots. What? No, I didn't. I don't know what you're talking about. I can see you filling them in now. No, turn away, Chip. You're not meant to see this. It's so embarrassing. Oh, my gosh, Milo. You're so silly. I'm lucky that I can jump over these blocks, but it would be terrible if this moat was any wider. You're right. Hmm. Let's build a bridge over here so that we don't get stuck in the lava. Okay, that sounds like a great idea. Now that we've done that bridge, I think it's time to place some landmines. Landmines? Oh my gosh, Chip, where did you get those from? Uh, we don't need to talk about it, but they're so important in defending our house from those zombies. Just watch. When I place it down, all I have to do is click it, and it hides underground. Now don't step on the area, Milo, or it'll explode. But where did it go? 
Underground, Milo. That's why it's called a landmine. That's very suspicious. Yeah, they are quite suspicious. Just don't blow yourself up, okay? Can I please have one? What? I've only got one, but oh, fine. I guess I can give you a couple. Okay, I have some here, and I'm gonna put them everywhere. Be careful, Milo. We can't just put them everywhere. Otherwise, we'll forget where they are, and we'll get totally blown up. Luckily, I have a great memory, and I totally remember where I put all my landmines. <laughs> Uh, well, there's one right here. You should test it out, Chip. No, Milo. Then it'll blow up anyway. That's a bad idea. Here, here. I nearly tricked you. Why are you tricking me? We're meant to be fighting the zombies, remember? Oh, yeah. It's getting closer to nighttime as well. Oh, no. You're right. The sun's going down. That is bad. Milo, what just happened? I blew up one of the landmines. This is what I was talking about. Do not blow them up. Otherwise, we won't have any left for the zombies. Okay, well, I'm going to use this landmine crater to put loads of landmines inside. Okay, be really careful, Milo. I'm actually going to help you with this. Oh, but don't trap me in, Chip. I won't have anywhere to escape. Ah! Milo, what have you done? I forgot where I put these ones as well. Oh, no. That leads right to bedrock. Okay, well, I'm going to put some on the bedrock then. Okay, good luck. Look, Milo, all our landmines are properly put down now. I love my landmine pits. Yeah, it looks really scary. Now it's time to do door pressure plate traps. These are actually an age-old tradition in Minecraft. You put down a bunch of doors and, hey, Milo, do you just want to walk inside that? Oh, sure. I don't really know what it's going to do. Probably nothing good because you're Quack. stupid. <laughs> now you're trapped inside and you can't escape. We're going to do this all around our base so the zombies get stuck as well. I escaped! I'm so smart! Luckily, the zombies can't jump because all their legs are old and moldy. So we're going to trap as many as we can. And done! I've made six different door traps. How many have you made, Milo? I've made two! Yeah, I can see that, Milo. I really hope yours work this time. Hey, we are going to build a giant arrow dispenser over the bridge. Whoa! An arrow dispenser? What is it going to do? Milo, it's going to dispense arrows. That's why it's called an arrow dispenser. Okay, why are you building it out of orange? Because orange is the best color. No, it's not! Who is the best color? Uh, I mean, I mean, uh, because orange will blend in with the lava. Milo, that's going to look so weird. No, it's not. It's only fair. Oh, okay, fine. We can have three bits of blue. But if this looks weird, it's your fault. Okay, I'm willing to take that responsibility. <laughs> okay, Milo. Now I'm going to put dispensers underneath here. These need to shoot right at the bridge because otherwise nothing will hit the zombies. How are the zombies going to trigger it, though? I have a solution. The zombies won't need to trigger it because the redstone will be going all the time. Okay, I've built a giant redstone contraption. Na, 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 na. Zombies are stupid. Milo, don't make them too angry. The sun is going down. We can't make them more upset at us. Okay, I'm not going to annoy them anymore. Now, all I have to do is activate this redstone and it's going to constantly go in a loop. See, you can already hear the dispensers clicking. Wow, you're so I kind of know everything, Milo. I'm going to fill all of these dispensers with a bunch of arrows. Can I put some in? Just make sure you use really dangerous arrows like instant damage. I'm going to put spectral arrows in so the zombies glow. Okay, good idea. Milo, what are you doing? You're meant to middle click and spread them all over. These are going to be empty really quick. Oh, no. This is going to be terrible. I shouldn't be allowed to do these things. Yeah, why are you allowed to do them? Stop, stop! I did it! I middle clicked and sped all the arrows over! Wow, good job, Milo. Now do it for the last one while I turn this redstone off. Imagine if all these arrows hit zombies. The zombies don't stand a chance against us! No way! Milo, the sun is going down really fast. We do not have much time. So, let's split up for our next build. Oh. Really? What is it, Milo? I'm not telling. You're going to have to find out later. Okay, 
I'm gonna build galaxy crystals to shoot the zombies when they come close. Galaxy crystals? What even is that? Oh, you'll see, Milo. In order to make the galaxy crystals, first you need a pearlescent frog light, and then you surround it with end rods, just mm -hmm. like this. It already looks so weird and alien, and now all you have to do is put an amethyst on top and wait for the fun to begin. Whoa! A galaxy orb! Oh yeah, this is insane. I can't wait to see what this does to the zombies when they come close. Wow! What is that? This is the galaxy crystal orb. It's gonna totally destroy the zombies when they get near. That is the craziest thing I've ever seen. I can't stop looking at it. Whoa, it's kinda hypnotizing. Maybe it'll hypnotize the zombies? I actually have no idea what it's gonna do to them. I wanna touch it! No, Milo, don't break the crystal, please! Wow, this is crazy! I'm gonna place them all around so the zombies can't even go around them. Look, there's one on each corner. Now, I'm just gonna do them really close to the bridge. But first, how's your cactus maze going? It's really good! There's no way the zombies are getting through this! Oh yeah, our base is so secure, I'm really excited. I can't wait to see all the zombies die! Whoa, Milo, what's this? It's some honey! Wow, good idea. That way, the zombies will get stuck when they try to walk over it. And it gives us a nice little snack in case we get hungry! <laughs> yeah, totally! While you finish off your cactus maze and honey blocks, I'm gonna do another type of redstone contraption. What? What's it gonna be this time? Look! The pistons go in a circle, putting all the power into the arms of the iron golem. These guys are going to be so strong, Milo, it's going to be crazy. That is the craziest contraption I've ever seen! Oh yeah, it's now totally underground. When the time comes to spawn the supercharged iron golem, all we have to do is place a pumpkin block right there. I'm not going to do it now though, otherwise it'll spawn way too soon. Chip, the only thing we're missing is a pen! Wait, you're right, Milo. What kind of pet should we get? I think we should get a whole army of wolves! And then we can make them kill the zombies! That's a great idea. They'll even fight for us. Yes! This is so much fun! I've always wanted a puppy! Yeah, me too. I'm gonna spawn them first. See? No! Mine are gonna be stronger than yours! I'm even gonna make mine with orange collars. And hey, most of those are just wild wolves. You haven't even tamed them yet. Hey, I'm taming them now! Go away! Oh yeah, well, I'm gonna make all of their colors into orange ones. No! Chip! Wait for me! No, I don't think I will, Milo. All these dogs are orange now. Stop it! Now that we've built all of these amazing traps, we still need to figure out what to use this button for. Yeah, it's been there this whole time and I still don't know. Next to the button, we need to have a secret hole, which will lead to a bunker in the sky. Whoa, Chip! That sounds really high-tech! Yep, the button will be a distraction for the zombies, so they don't notice the huge hole in the floor right next to them. And inside the hole, we're even going to put a bunch of railways leading right over here. I love railways! And now all we've got to do is dig right up. This is going to be so safe! And done! I've made a railway connecting to the house. Now, you just have to build really, really high up. I want to build it out of blue. Stop using orange for everything. What? Ew, no, Milo. That looks so bad. No, it looks good. Plus, the zombies aren't going to see it because blue blends in with the sky. Oh, and done. It now leads all the way to the top. And my platform's going to be blue. What? No way. My platform's going to be orange. Ew, I'm definitely not going to go over your side. That's a good thing, Milo. I'm only going to build enough space for one person, not a silly little birdie. What? I'm not a silly birdie. I'm really smart. Didn't you see my maze that I made out of cactuses? You also dumped honey everywhere, Milo. Yeah, it's to confuse the zombies. They're probably going to eat it all. Good. Then they'll be full and they won't want to eat our brains. Now that the walls are done and our crossbows are ready, I'm going to build some nice furniture to make this place feel like a home. I'm going to build a couch. I don't want a bed because I'm not going to do any sleeping. But Milo, this open area still looks kind of empty. The zombies could really easily get through. I think we need to add some kind of defense. What defenses? Magma blocks, of course. Well, I was thinking berries. Berries? What are zombies going to do with berries? They're going to run into them and get really hot. 
<laughs> okay, I guess that's a good point. Are they spiky or something? Very spiky. And also delicious. Okay, this could totally work. We have magma and berries. There's no way the zombies are getting to our secure house now. And done. Our fields of berries and hordes of magma blocks are totally complete. But Milo, look. The sun, it's going down. Oh my gosh, the zombies are going to kill us in any second. We have to add one more thing. We still don't have any armor. We better go get some armor on. Good idea, Milo. Here are the armor stands. This one's mine and that one can be yours. This is my best armor. Whoa, it's blue just like you. Yeah. You have netherite armor. Because it's the best armor in the game, obviously. When did you have time to go mining for this armor? When did you have time to get diamonds? I might have stolen them from you. Hey! <laughs> Look, Milo, the sun, it's going down. Oh, this is so scary. I don't think I'm ready for the zombies. Quick, we have to put our armor on and get to the roof. Okay, armor is going on. Oh, yeah, good job, Milo. Oh, gosh, it's almost here. Quick, climb up this ladder. Do I look fancy, Chip? Yeah, you look kind of normal, actually. Oh, no, it's the moon. That means it's about to be nighttime. Quick, Milo, I really don't want the zombies to come. The zombies? I think they're going to try and get us. Oh, my gosh. Wave one is starting. Oh, no. Look, I think I can see them coming out of the cave. This is terrifying. It doesn't look like there's too many yet. Whoa, they're getting bitten by something. I think it might be the galaxy orb. Whoa! That is so powerful, Chip. I can't believe you invented that. Wait, this wave is kind of easy, Milo. We've built so many defenses. I think we can take them down ourselves. These zombies are boring! Yeah, wow! This is amazing, but wait a minute. It said wave one was starting. That must mean there's multiple waves. Multiple waves? Does that mean that's just going to get harder and harder? I think so, but don't worry, Milo. We'll figure it out. Look, Chip! The orb is working! Wow! It's summoning interdimensional alien jaws to bite the zombies! I hope it doesn't get me if I go too close! We probably shouldn't try. I think it might only target zombies, but we should be careful. All right! I think that's the end of wave one! That was easy peasy! But wait a minute. When is wave two coming? You're right. Wave two, it's here. Oh, no. That zombie has a shovel. What if he hits me with it? Wait a minute. This is way many more zombies than last time. Oh, no. And they're coming right at us. Oh, gosh, you're right. Look, the galaxy crystal. It's getting so many of them. I think we still need to help fight, though. Some of them are getting through. Hey, get out of here, zombies. You guys are so dumb. Oh, gosh, they're getting further than the last wave did. Quick, Milo, we need to take them out with our swords. My honey and slime is slowing them down. You're right, Milo, but they're doing a lot of damage to me. We've got to be more careful. Chip, they're biting me. Oh, no, me too. I hope they don't turn us into zombies. Oh, gosh, so many got through. I'm going to lead them through the cactus maze. My cactus maze is doing such a good job. Yeah, I agree. Oh, gosh, the honey blocks are getting them stuck too. That was a really good idea you had, Milo. Thanks, Chip. Oh gosh, the zombies have almost gotten me. I'm really low on health. I'll protect you. Zombies, get away from my brother. Wow, I have two hearts left. If that was just wave two, I do not want to know what wave three is going to be like. What do you mean wave three? Milo, there's always a wave three. <laughs> Look, they're already here. Oh my gosh, wave two is actually crazier than I thought. Milo, this is insane. I can't believe this. I really thought we got them all. We have to fall back. I'm going to summon the iron golems. This one will work. And it did. Look, it's even got sparkles from being supercharged. Chip, I'm stuck in a sea of zombies. Oh, my gosh. Don't worry. I think the iron golems can help. Whoa, this one worked as well. I think it's getting them. Yes, get them, iron golems. Oh, my gosh. Milo, they're cornering me now. I'm losing so much health. Oh, gosh, yeah, you're right. Wait, I'm going to lead them around this galaxy orb. Maybe that'll help take them out. Oh, look, it's working. Oh, my gosh, Chip. One of the door traps worked. Oh, <gasps> really? Oh, wow, I have to come see this. Look, there's a zombie trapped in this door. Na, 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 na. 
Wait, oh, that's so funny. Oh no, he almost got out. Whoa, Milo, we're almost done with wave two. I'm so glad we had the iron golems. Yeah, me too. But oh my goodness, Milo, we only have two iron golems left. What? And we still have another wave to go. That's right. The final wave is starting, Milo. Oh my gosh, I wonder what could be in the final wave. Yeah, wait a minute. That's a mutant zombie and another mutant zombie. Uh-oh, Milo, this is going to be really difficult. Mutant zombies are my worst nightmare, Chip. Oh gosh, this is horrible. Wait a minute, and the other zombies are getting through as well. Chip, I don't know what to do. Neither do I. We've just got to fight our way through this, Milo. Oh gosh. Hey, they're running over your lava moat. They're destroying all the mazes! <laughs> I'm gonna do the last pumpkins, but there's no time. Milo, release the hound. <laughs> Come on, Dad, you're gonna have to destroy them. Oh my gosh, but our puppies are attacking back. Quick, they're distracting them for us, but we need to do our minecarts right now. Okay, I'm right behind you. Ow, I keep hitting my head. This spiral is so crazy. Look, Milo, our house is overrun with zombies. Oh my we only have one solution, and that is to use the secret TNT I put in our house. When did you put that there, Chip? When you weren't looking, Milo, and there's only one way to activate it. What are you gonna do? We can use my flame bow. What? You have a flame bow? Oh, yeah. Just watch. It totally sets fire to the arrows. And what's better to set on fire than TNT? Let's blow these zombies up! Bye-bye, zombies! Have a nice afterlife! Yeah! We got the zombies! You're right, Milo. We did an amazing job. We're so good at protecting our house. Wait a second. We don't have a house anymore. Oh, no. The TNT, it destroyed it. 